Here's a notes for section 6.5. Okay, 6.5, page 328, 1 to 35 odd. And just about even on there. Part of the bottom here, 6.5. On the next page, the very top there. And what you do. Okay, so today we're doing sum and difference of cubes. There are formulas for each. So a cubed plus b cubed, sum and difference of cubes. A plus b, a squared minus a b plus b squared. A cubed minus b cubed, a minus b, a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, so if you were to multiply these back out, this is what you would get. Just for demonstration purposes, let me actually multiply out the top one. A plus B, A squared minus AB plus B squared. So as we know, we take everything here times everything here. So A times all of these, A cubed minus A squared B plus AB squared. Then B times each of these, A squared B minus AB squared plus B cubed. You will notice all the middle ones cancel out. And so you do get A cubed plus B cubed. And if you do the same thing with this one, you get something similar. Okay, so we're going to try to use this sum of difference of cubes. So number one, X cubed minus Y cubed, that looks exactly like this. If I just go by formula, X minus Y, <coughs> X squared plus XY plus Y squared. Number five, 27 plus X cubed. So 27 is three cubed, so it's three cubed plus X cubed. Then use the formula for the sum of two cubes. 3 plus x, 3 squared, which is 9, minus the product of these two, 3x plus x squared. And y cubed minus 64. 64 is 4 cubed, y cubed minus 4 cubed. Then I use the formula for the difference of cubes. y minus 4, y squared plus 4y plus 4 squared, which is 16. Okay. This is just to indicate, you might be looking at this and say, hey, can I factor this any further? The answer is no, you'll never be able to factor this any farther, so don't even bother trying. Okay, x cubed minus 216. 216 happens to be six cubed. So it's x cubed minus six cubed. So by formula, x minus six, x squared plus six x plus 36. Okay, so notice there's a separate formula for the sum of cubes and a difference of cubes some difference. Okay, 2a cubed minus 128b cubed, factor out the 2, a cubed minus 64b cubed. Okay, 64b cubed is 4b quantity cubed. Okay, so leave the 2 alone, a minus 4b, a squared plus 4 times a times b plus this thing squared, what is 4b squared? 16b squared. <clears throat> okay, 21. Factor out the common factor of 10. 10 comes out a cubed minus 64b cubed. So just like the previous one, a cubed minus parentheses 4b cubed. Okay, then I use this formula here. So leave alone the 10. a minus 4b, a squared plus the product of these 4ab plus this thing squared, 4b squared is 16b squared. 25, 64 plus 27a cubed. Write it as the sum of cubes. 64 is four cubed, 27 is three a cubed. Throw it into the formula, four plus three a, four squared, 16, minus the product of these, that times that, 12a, plus three a squared, nine a squared. 29, t cubed plus one third cubed. This is one third cubed. So using the formula, t plus one third, t squared minus the product of these, one third t plus one third squared, which is one ninth. 33, 64a cubed plus 125b cubed. 
So you want to write it as the sum of cubes, something cubed plus something else cubed. So this thing is 4a cubed. This is 5b cubed. Load them in the formula. 4a plus 5b. <clears throat> 4a squared, 16a squared, minus the product of these two. 4a times 5b is 20ab plus 5b squared, which is 25b squared. Okay, this one's a little bit harder. A to the six minus B to the six. Treat it as A squared cubed minus B squared cubed. So this is A squared minus B squared. A squared squared, A to the fourth, plus the product of these, A squared B squared, plus B squared squared, B to the fourth. And you might recognize this factors into a plus b, a minus b, and then you leave this one alone. And finally, 41 is similar. x to the 6 minus 5y to the 6. Okay, I'm going to treat this as x squared cubed minus 5y squared cubed. Okay. And we write it as x squared cubed minus 25y squared cubed. So x squared minus 25y squared x squared squared, x to the fourth, plus the product of these, 25 x squared y squared, plus 25 y squared squared is 625 y to the fourth. Okay, leave this one alone, but this one's a difference of two squares, so x plus 5 y makes minus 5 y, and leave this stuff alone. Okay, all right, so this was section 6.5.